they say don't talk race, religion, and politics. Shit. At Circle 7 Media, we talk race, religion, and politics. Affairs of Ben. It's the CNN of hip hop, where we talk politics, news, and all things that are relevant to young black hip hop America. Battle Rap 7. Where is the post game talk show on caffeine where you can call in and discuss the rap battle you just seen? Both shows air exclusively on caffeine at 7 p.m. every night. That's every night, Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for calling Circle 7 Media. What's your name and where are you from? Three, two, three, two, Yo, what up, man? Chris, I'm by checking back in, man. Back on the blog, man. We got Adverse real sick, man. Heard a lot about this battle coming from the event, man. So I was definitely excited about watching it, man. Shout out to URL. If you do not have the URL app, make sure you get the app because it's only $7.99, man. We have to support black businesses, man. Well, I mean, what are we talking about? We talking about like a Whopper and fries, man. We talking about a Whopper and fries, $7.99. Get the URL app, man. Check out this battle and all the other battles on the card. But uh, we got Adverse Real Sick, man. You know, Real Sick. <clears throat> Obviously, one of the better up-and-coming people that's in Battle Rap right now. And Av been doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Real quick before I get into this, I want to clarify my Av comments. Probably for the last time. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, kind of chopped it up with Av on Twitter. I didn't really expect my comments to kind of get to where I've been, I've been pissing a lot of niggas off. Bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm like public enemy number one right now when it comes to this blogger shit. But, um... You know, I'm always going to speak my mind, man. You know, I'm, that's that's one thing that made me who I am in Battle Rap. At the end of the day, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to still pull up to events. And, you know, I'm going to still, you know, we can have all these debates and arguments or whatever in person. I'm not ducking no smoke. My thing with Av, let me just clarify. I never wanted Av to leave URL and go to RBE. I mean, let's not get ridiculous. URL is still the number one league in Battle Rap. And I don't really feel like going leaving it is no leaving to go to rbe that's not what i'm saying i just simply wanted him to battle big k and if url is able to put the big k battle together on their platform then so be it you know what i'm saying i just thought it was a good look i know that that battle is kind of contractually you know kind of like you know etched in stone at, at rbe or whatever for at least a couple years so i know they can't even do the battle if they wanted to on url but that's all i was thinking i felt like okay Av is basically saying that he can't battle some of the people that we would like to see him battle or some of the bigger names or some of the non-new era people because people are ducking Av. You know what I'm saying? And, and Vada Fly made an interesting point, man. Shout out to Vada. He said Av was high risk, low reward. You know what I'm saying? So he's very capable of beating anybody. But at the same time, you may not get a lot if you beat him. So I guess that's the whole high risk, low reward thing. I just feel like Av, if you know Av off camera, you know what I'm saying? He's funny. He's charismatic, the whole nine. And I feel like if he had a way to display that on camera, you know what I'm saying? It would go more, it would go better with his marketability. So when I look at Av, I just want bigger things for him. I want him to be able to, to you know, host, I'm not host events. I want him to be able to like headline events and stuff like that. A part of me feels like he can be bigger in battle rap than what he is right now. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I felt like what's a grudge match? What's a battle that he probably could use? What's something that that can build up marketing wise? Big K, you know what I'm saying? I thought that would be a good battle. Shoot a, tra a crazy trailer. It could be a big marketable battle. So that's why I keep, I keep pushing that battle. I feel like maybe that's something he needs. At one point in time, yeah, if him and Tay Rock had beef, you know what I'm saying, coming off the whole Cave game thing, and URL was able to put a battle between Tay Rock and Av together based on Cave versus X Cave, that might have been cool too. That would have been dope, really big for Av. But it don't look like they got no real issue, so I don't really think that's it. But as far as this, you know, if niggas are afraid to battle Av, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can only battle who's willing to battle you. And from Av's standpoint, it's looking like niggas do not want to battle Av. So I guess, I guess, you know, me saying, yo, why are you not battling X, Y, and Z? If they ain't battling them or they won't accept the challenge, then it just is what it is at this point. But off that, I don't really want to talk about that no more. This battle right here, fire. 
You know what I'm saying? Let me just make that. This battle right here is fire. Av goes first. In the first round, I like his opening bar about having COVID. Uh, they finally put me face to face with this bitch, but I still wasn't afraid to get sick. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Definitely nice bar. Uh, he had the pop disco left bar. That was pretty cool, too. The big ticket basement bar. I'm in the field when the trap was amazing. Niggas stacking their table and buying straps for the action we facing. Run up in his crib, ratchets is blazing. Bitch nigga got big ticket. That's when he found his rap with a basement. <laughs> the Indian give a bar. Haymaker bar. I'm not the nigga to play with. Like, really, my nigga. The shit I really got in is a dealer. Rob shit when I was swimming with a screwer. Shit, I didn't even make a lick off your bitch. Taking back anything this Indian did <laughs> I heard your chicka play my whole staff nice. We could all work for Chick-fil-A. That's just a little slick line. You know what I'm saying? We all know Chick-fil-A got the, the, the crazy customer service. And he finished with the 360 photo booth bar. I felt Av had a good first round, bro. A very, very good first round, man. He kind of gave you the aggression. He gave you the bars. You know what I'm saying? He seemed like... I even like his, his energy in his battle. His energy is up in his battle. He really seemed... Because sometimes we look at Av and his energy can be kind of down. You remember how he was with Head Ice? Very, it seemed like it took him a little minute. It it took Head Ice to kind of go there before Av kind of turned up on him. You know what I'm saying? But then already in the first round, Av is already, his energy is good. He's bumping real sick and everything. You know, we don't really see that a lot from Av. He's bumping real sick, kind of giving him like light pushes or whatever. I'm liking this from Av right now in the first round. Real sick comes back in the first round, kind of rebuttals the, uh, first of all, before I even get to that, the crowd was definitely rocking with sick, man. You know what I'm saying? Like when it was time for him to rap, you hear, oh yeah. Which is good to see, man. You and you in Raleigh, North Carolina, good to see they were showing real sick some love. You know what I'm saying? I definitely thought that maybe Av would be the favorite in that area or whatever, but it seemed like niggas was rocking with real sick and giving him that love. He kind of rebuttals the slightly rebuttals the whole COVID, you know, I wasn't afraid to get sick bar by basically saying you and I see you, I'm not gonna give you room to breathe. That was actually pretty cool. That whole thing he was going with the storytelling where he was like, oh, y'all wondering where the punch at? The punch is right here. That was nice too, man. The little uh, little word play he was doing. I think Cole Winslow was 10 toes with Cole. Heard he had stupid white, then go, let a fist throw. A knife will go right in this bone. Split domes, slice in the fight. Ken Bo in his home. Fifth close, get low, tiptoe. Russian bro, Klitschko, get smoke, endo. He had a Mason Dixon line that was fire, and he had uh this ain't a regular 7-Eleven. The machine is working, man. I don't know if y'all niggas got 7-Eleven where y'all from. It might be just a South thing. I don't know. Maybe it maybe it's just a South. I know we got plenty of 7-Elevens in Florida, Texas, the whole nine. So uh I felt like in the first round, bro, I gave it to real sick. I, I realized if you look at the haymakers that Av had, the big Tigger bar, the Indian Giver bar, big haymaker from him. Sick to me kind of shows you a little bit more diversity in this first round. First, I feel like his round a little more consistent than Av's in terms of like Av had the haymakers. I felt like Sick kind of had just more better bars consistently throughout. That's just how I looked at it. Just Round two, man, Av was continuing the pressure, my G. Why you up here talking like I'm really concerned? I'm gripping an arm. You get it twisted. Watch this Indian burn. Like that bar a lot. The Met Life, Met Death bar. Man, that shit was crazy. I come with his main state, like right when they games play. He came out Met Life and Met Death in the same day. <laughs> Had a dope tribe called Quest Bar. I'll hurt this nigga now with a fist. He'll have the biggest eye battle of his career. Just trying to get the swelling off that shit. I like that bar a lot too, man. He had a little cold, soft slander in here. Yo, Ab, we don't tolerate no cold, soft slander, my G. You know what I'm saying? We in the South, we eat cold, soft in Atlanta. We don't, we're no, no cold, soft slander. But other than that, man, he had his head clapped. Now he don't have a third of his rap. You're going to feel like Danny had known. You know, Danny didn't have no third round. I like Av second round, man. I really do like Av second round. Continuing that pressure on Real Sick. Real Sick comes back in the second round. A couple uppercuts will have you agreeing with me. The way he acted that out was dope. We can fight on stage. I get it shaking when I'm angry like white boy rage. Across and make him lean dizzy. Hook and make him 360. Couple fucking uppercuts and look like he agreeing with me. Yeah. 
Little slapping his chest sound effects. I don't know if he was practicing that or something like I don't like it seemed like that just gotta go over right in order to sound good on camera and it just hit in the building. About to slap chest, I clap and let a beat knock. Pull a Tommy gun up and turn around in a beat shot. It's hard pumping till I let a machine pop. Then I stop banging the drum. That's when it's beat drop. He knock. But this is where real sick to me kind of died down in this round, man. After that, he had a couple af. He had a few af flips that were cool. Nothing super crazy. Arguing with verb online, I let you choose. You know, I, I got a verb you can choose. What he said, living or dying. His, the second half of his second round was just cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like it kept up with the pace that Ab was giving you. Ab was still kind of giving you some nice little haymakers in there. Probably the best bar the whole entire round was the Met Life, Met Death bar. So 1-1 one, one going into the third, man. I gave Ab round two. Av comes back in round three, man. Nigga said you asked to get dealt this pressure. That's because you've been cooking sick. I'm just here to be your health inspector. That bar was fire, bro. That's like one of them little slick lines that's not really a haymaker, but you look at it and it's like, yo, the way you put that together was crazy. Real name Brandon Bar was cool. You ain't the one that led this movement. Niggas ain't more no Indian as the logo. The Redskins prove it. Bitches, you stupid. You ain't even the one that led this movement. They didn't even want the Indian as the logo and the Redskins proved it. Man, come on, bro. We already know the Redskins switched their logo and everything. The calico pick, the six, the six chick missing bar. That was fire, too. He had a fitness magazine bar. He ran. I'd be running through his bar so quick, man. I don't think you really can catch, like, what he says. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're just playing it back over and over again. But he just flies through the fitness magazine bar. But it actually was a nice line. Then he finishes with a Geronimo. Nice thirds. Nice, solid, good third from to way to finish this round for Av, man. Av really gave you... Three fire rounds. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Av gave you three fire rounds. It was good to see him bounce back from the head eye situation or battle or whatever. Whether he won the battle or lost the battle in your in your eyes, I still feel like this performance just shows you like, okay, that was just an aberration. I just took, you know, I just had a light day that day. But this is the real Av right here. The real sick third round, he kind of took like a different angle. I felt like this was more of a, a talk to you round. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have as many punches or you know, whatever. I don't think he, I think he was really showing his versatility the whole battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, he definitely showed his versatility. He was not doing as many gum bars at all in this particular round. He took shots at Tay Rock. Everybody's taking shots at Tay Rock, man. But, you know, it's predictable because he was cave gang or whatever. Took shots at Tay Rock. You battled COVID, but you kept your smell and your taste, but then you lost your touch. Basically saying that you ain't as nice as you used to be. I was rocking with that bar. He, he was talking about Av's. Um, improper fraction bar and he was basically trying to flip it by saying you're over 40 but now you you the one that's getting 30 i like that a lot 30 under the 40 you were starting this shit early now you lost to a kid born up in new jersey you like 43 only here because your glory days were worthy it's that same fraction but now you're over 40 getting 30 the nerve Impersonate bar was nice because you know our real name is nathan impersonate like that bar a lot I make rappers duck me when I'm rapping in front of them. I like the way he ended that too because basically Danny Myers didn't spit his third round. So you can basically say he ducked them in front of him. So I'm I'm rocking with it. But I gave this third round to Av, bro. I got Av one of the last two rounds of this battle to win this battle 2-1. Subscribe to the channel. Holla at your boy. Appreciate the support. Nubian Bookstore, man. If you ever in Atlanta... You can leave a stop by Nubian Bookstore, man. Support black owned business, man.